Good morning, class. As you all know, I got the Teacher of the Year award and I'm at the conference in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. And it was a great pleasure being here. We're actually starting in about, about an, an hour here and I just wanted to send you guys in a recording of our lecture today of what we're gonna be learning. I briefly talked about it yesterday, but today I'm gonna go into more depth. We are learning about addition and we're using the dot system. So let's get started here. Okay, so first we're going to start off with the small numbers and then we're going to work our way up. So I'll give you guys three practice problems and then our substitute teacher will pass out the worksheet for you guys to finish and she will turn that into me and I will grade that and get the grade back for you guys. Okay, so we have four plus six, okay? So the dot system is just underneath each of the numbers, you want to add the dots, and then that will help you get your grand total. If you're having trouble adding what the whole numbers are, you add the dots underneath. So you need your grand total here. So four dots. Here you go one, two, three, four, and then plus. You want to add six more dots underneath. So one, two, three. Four, five, six equals blank. So now you add up the dots, and then that will give you a grand total for both numbers here. So you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So your big number up here is ten. That's your whole number. And then your dotted answer, you want to add ten dots. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So first problem. Now we're going to work a little bit bigger numbers. It's okay, I believe in you guys. We can do this all together. And if you guys have any questions as you go, you guys feel free to ask the substitute. Or if you don't feel confident asking the substitute, that is okay. And you can wait until I come in tomorrow and we can go, we can all go over it together. So let's do, we'll work with that number we just got, the number 10 plus four equals blank. So we're gonna add 10, 10 dots here, four dots here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we really add the plus sign and then the four dots. One, two, three, Four. Don't forget the equals and the line underneath. We might have to reverse that line to add the more dots because it's a pretty big number for all these dots. Remember, we count the ten and the four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So our big whole number, fourteen, and our dots are fourteen. One, two, three, four. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay. So remember, if you guys have any questions as we were going, feel free to always ask the substitute. And again, tomorrow we are going to go more detailed and going over the worksheet. Okay. One more number. We'll do. plus nine equals, okay, so the dots. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay, don't forget the plus. One, one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Don't forget the equals. You guys are going to take a minute and you guys are going to try to do this one all by yourself. Okay, now the substitute has pressed play. We're going to go over this problem all together. So we need to remember always add the line there and always add the line here. Okay, so we're going to add 
8 plus 9 to a whole number, and the 8 plus 9 back to a dotted whole number. Okay, so we're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. It's a lot of dots that we have to draw out. So 17 is your whole number, and then we have 17 dots. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay. So now that we've gone over addition with the dot system, I hope that you guys can complete these 10 problems on your own. Again, feel free to ask the sub. If you guys want to work in groups, you guys can work in groups. Just remember, no fooling around while doing it. We want to make sure we're calm, working together, helping each other, counting the numbers aloud, and always just being nice to each other overall while doing these problems. Because some of them could be a little tricky, like that last one we just did there, 8 plus 9, could be a little tricky sometimes. So I hope you guys have a great day and I'll be back tomorrow and I'll tell you guys all about the conference and I'll, get, and I'll show you guys the reward and we'll have a great day tomorrow, okay? Have a nice day today. I'll see you guys tomorrow, okay? Bye now.